I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, I've got the record player on its side. Had the back removed. There's the inside. And I got the speaker removed too. And we're going to flip that around here. But I have to watch. We're going to replace all of these uh, capacitors down here with other ones. And there's some that are down in there kind of tight like that one. And I think there's six of them. Let's see. One. There's one back there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, maybe seven. Maybe I missed one back there. Uh oh. Because I ordered some parts. I only ordered six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I may be missing a part here. Well, the one I forgot to order was this one down here. I don't know if you can see it. If we look down in there, it looks like it's an 0047, 400 volts. And, uh, Rather than order it and pay shipping, I ordered a uh, kit or a package of an assortment of capacitors from Amazon for like 10 bucks, and I had a $3 uh, gift card to use up. And it had one 0047 630 volt included in it, so I'll put that in there, and that should work, work fine. And... Uh, yeah, it's got those rings on it. I'm not sure. I think all the ones that I have say that they are non-polarized. Yeah, each one of these has, uh, I get the flashlight in the way, sorry, has a ring on it. So it looks like this is the metal side or something. I don't know. As far as I know, you can just put them in here either way and they should work or I'm going to blow this entire thing up here. So... We shall see. Uh... Okay, I'm here in my workshop, also known as my kitchen table. I've uh, refurbished the record player. I'm about to plug it in, see if it's going to work. I expect it to spark and blow up, and I'll have to run over and pull the plug out. And uh, I'm not expecting anything here. So let's go plug it in here, see what's going to happen. Plugged it in, and nothing's going on. It's turning. And no, still not getting any sound. So, all my $20 or 20 some dollars worth of uh, of uh, capacitors to replace you know still getting a hum there's some music there maybe it's a needle i don't know okay well got the volume turned all the way up there's a still a hum if i turn the volume down you can hear hear the music It's not coming through the speaker. And I hear this dip, 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 dip. And I turn the volume all the way down. You can hear it coming from the needle, just sound that the needle's making. And I replaced all those capacitors. Oh well. And here's all the old capacitors I took out. This is a dual one. So that's one, two, three four, five, six, seven. And uh, these two here were uh, polarized ones. So you had a positive and a negative lead. They were like the Canon ones. And these were like the, replace these with the red dip ones, which are non-polarized, even though some of these have, uh, have the uh, uh, mark on here, which means that maybe that's one side is for the outside metal casing or how capacitors work, I don't know. But I just put the new ones in there whatever way I could get them in there because they said they were non-polarized and shouldn't make too much difference on a low-end record player like I have here if it was some high-end piece of equipment. And I don't know that much about any of this stuff here. So 
All right.